Hey folks, it's Tojo. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks about the game, specifically the mechanics of the game that you probably don't know about that you can use to your advantage. The Sea of Thieves developers always say that they love when they see how the players show them how to creatively play the game. And they love seeing things they don't expect to happen with the tools that they've given us. The tips and tricks in this video will show you how to get around conventional expected ways of doing certain things by using mechanics that are already present in the game without pressing a large combo of buttons. These things just exist with very little effort. Number one, mast grabs. We all know you can jump off something and grab a ladder to prevent any fall damage from happening. It's pretty common in most games. In Sea of Thieves, you can also jump off the mast and grab the helm, the cannon, the harpoon or the rigging. You can also grab the capstan if it's raised. By doing this, you can land at almost any point of your ship and be exactly where you need to be without having that little bit of time you waste running between areas. While this might not seem a lot, some fights, every second matters. And by doing this, this could be the difference between sinking or not. Number two, wind. Sometimes Sea of Thieves breaks. Shocker, right? In this instance, the wind stops blowing as wispy goodness. If this happens, a mermaiding or a visit to the ferry doesn't sort it out, or it's such a crucial moment that leaving the ship in any manner is impossible, you can raise a flag and use the direction of the flag to see which way the wind is going. Especially important if you're being chased by a galleon and you're on a sloop and you want to sail into the wind so they can't catch you up. Number three, ninja kegging. If you've ever tried to keg a ship and you feel like you've just been spotted every single time and you can't get this keg off, there is one way that you can do it that gives you the highest chance of success. Though this is specific to the sloop because of the way that you need to go around and do it. Some people recommend that you go towards the harpoon and jump off there because sometimes you can walk off depending on the position of the harpoon. I personally like to use one of the side ladders by looking through the window, grabbing the ladder and then sliding down off into the water. What you should do here is dive under the water after you've taken note of where their ship is and the ladder that you use to get into the water originally is the ladder that is in the opposite side of where their ship is. This is by far the easiest and sneakiest way to get on board or keg another ship. It does have the added benefit that if you don't have a keg on you, you can use this as a mobility around your ship and a lot of people won't expect you to be doing this. Number four, the harpoon grab. Sometimes you'll try and board a ship and the ladders will be heavily camped and there's just no way that you're getting on board. And the ladders are extremely easy to camp, especially if there's a bigger crew on them. Sometimes you'll try and sword lunge and get on top of their ship, but sometimes you'll just be too far away to be able to do it, or you'll go backwards. When you finally do make a good sword lunge, you'll miss. Getting the angle can be difficult, you have to expose yourself quite heavily. But there is one way to be able to get on board a ship, though it is situational, it requires the ship to either be dipping down into a wave or close enough to land that you can run and jump up to it. This is something that people won't expect you to be doing and you'll be able to cause a lot of chaos. And if one of your team can make it up that way, they can then clear the ladders for the rest of your team to get up. Number five, the sword lunge knockoff. If a pesky pirate is hanging onto your ladder and you can't unstick the little creature, have a pal or yourself go below deck and sword lunge at the wall. It also works by slashing them off, but they don't go as far. Just be mindful that if they see you run away or they hear you run away, they're going to climb straight back up. So if you're on a sloop, you've got to have your timing down perfectly. If it looks like the wall is thin enough that you can hit through it, i.e. a place like the top of a fort or something like a wooden structure, then your sword will go through it and do damage. So this also works on your ship through the stairs and through the other parts of the ship. A big shout out to the guys that helped me do this, by the way. I turned up at a fort, I killed them both, and then I stopped attacking them and typed to them and asked them if they would help me make the video. So I really appreciate it. So technically, yes, they're paid actors because I stayed and we helped do the fort and gave them all the loot. We even fought off another ship, which I often do over on Twitch, link below. Number six, wall banging. In many FPS games, the act of wall banging is shooting someone through a wall. In games like Counter-Strike, there'll be specific points that lead to crucial points where you can spam these points and kill people. In Sea of Thieves, the thing to remember is where the vital organs of a ship are, the vital organs being the helm, the capstan, the sails. So if you see the middle sail of a galleon raising, you know that they can only be in one of two points. And if you're below the water but you can't see them, 
you can still attempt to shoot them through the wall and do some damage to prevent them from raising their sail or steering the ship if they're on the helm. If you're running around a ship and you see somebody around below deck and you get a glimpse of which direction they go, if you can visualize the speed that they're running at, you can predict where they're going. And if you get one or two hits on people through the wall, it will then make them uneasy and they may make mistakes. Of all of the tips here, this is probably the hardest one to master. And that's it. That's my short video on some of the mechanics of the game that you might not know about. If you know of something that wasn't included in this that you'd like to see in a future video, or you just want to tell me, let me know in the comments below. I've been Tojam, and I've been your temporary ship's captain. I'll see you later.